Hey there, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to make these delicious, savory mushroom, onion, and artichoke rolls that are perfect for entertaining. And this recipe is actually a two for one because the first part of the recipe is a delicious artichoke dip that you can serve with vegetables or with chips on the side and is absolutely scrumptious. It is also another recipe in which we're gonna be teaching you how to use silken tofu for a savory recipe. So if you haven't checked out our tofu mastery course right here on YouTube, I'm going to link it right here. And now let's begin. The base for the dip is going to be some silken tofu, which you can find in these shelf stable packages. It's always good to keep these on hand because these are great to cream up and use in sweet recipes or savory recipes, you're going to need the firm kind of silken tofu. This isn't a tofu you can saute or bake in the oven, but it's used to cream it up like we're gonna do now. You're gonna need half a cup. Measure it out and the rest you can keep in an airtight container in the fridge to use in other recipes. I'm gonna add this to a food processor. To the food processor, I'm also going to add some canned artichoke hearts, which I've drained. Try not to get too much of the liquid in the food processor. Some nutritional yeast, some salt, and two handfuls of flat leaf parsley. Now we're just going to pulse this. I like to leave it a little bit chunky still, but you can get it totally smooth if you prefer. Let's give it a taste. Mmm, that's really good. I'm gonna set this aside and we're going to chop some onions and some mushrooms. Heat a pan on high, and I'm going to add some olive oil. You can also add some neutral tasting oil. And we're gonna saute our onions first. Now here, you're gonna need some patience because we really want a good char on the onions and mushrooms. First we start on the onions, then we add the rest. Once you have a nice char on your onions, add your mushrooms and keep on going. If at any point, you feel that the pan has gotten a bit dry, you can add a bit more oil. While your vegetables are getting nice and charred, you wanna preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 180 Celsius. This is the color that we want. We've taken so much flavor out of that. We have a lovely texture as well. And at this stage, I'm gonna season with some salt and pepper. Give it a taste and see that it's to your liking. Grab a 12 piece cupcake pan and we're gonna add some spray oil. Set this aside. Now this is some vegan store-bought puff pastry. Most puff pastry you'll find in the store is vegan by default, but always check the ingredients. And we're gonna add a layer of that artichoke dip that we made at the start. You wanna leave a border on this side, just so it can close a little bit easier. Now we add our charred vegetables. Now all we have to do is roll. In the last bit, I like to roll towards me and press down a little bit. Using a serrated knife, I'm going to cut this long roll in half. And then each of those halves in half. And then each of these pieces into threes. Place your pan nearby and very carefully grab each piece we're gonna turn it and place it like this in each of the holes. It's gonna look really messy, 
but the oven is gonna do the magic and that puff pastry is gonna puff up really nicely. Pop these in your preheated oven. We're gonna bake initially for 20 minutes. After our 20 minutes are up, you're gonna see they've puffed up nicely and they're already starting to get golden brown. I'm gonna add a bit of vegan cheese on top and my preference for this recipe is any kind of sharp Parmesan style like cheese that is dry and that is going to brown uh, and get a kind of crispy edge in the oven. We're gonna add some now and pop it back in for 10 minutes. We're also gonna use some of the cheese when serving. I'm gonna leave my favorite brand below, but if you are a student of our vegan cheese making course, Melt, the aged crackle cheese is absolutely perfect for this purpose. Once they're nice and golden brown, take them out of the oven, let them rest for five minutes, and then you're ready to serve topped with a bit more of that grated cheese. This is a great recipe for entertaining, and what I love about these is you can make a ton in advance and then just reheat them in the oven. So you're gonna see that after you've cooled them and maybe refrigerated them if you made them the day before, you're going to see that the puff pastry softens a lot, but as soon as you pop it in a preheated oven, I usually pop it in a 435 degree oven, which is about 225 Celsius, and just leave them in there for 10 minutes all of that puff pastry gets nice and crisp again. So that's easy reheating instructions if you make these ahead of time. Mmm. That's flaky, cheesy, savory, so good.